Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So we've had a number of people comment on our previous videos asking for updates on our roadside firewood stand. Have we had any sales out of it? Have we had any problems with theft? And I thought what better day to cover the topic than a day when somebody just pulled in and bought a rack. So let's go ahead and hop on the tractor, go down there and restock the stand and I'll give you an update on what we've sold so far. Stick around. All right, so we have sold a total of nine racks so far. And the thing that surprises me the most is we have not sold a single bundle. Everybody really likes the value proposition with buying a full rack for 20 bucks, which makes sense. You're getting more wood for your dollar, but at the same time, you can still fit one of those racks in the back of your car. If you wanted to get the most bang for your buck, you'd obviously buy a full cord, but most people don't need a full cord and you can't fit one of those in the back of your Honda CRV. These $20 racks are perfect for the weekend warriors that want to go out and have a quick campfire. So let's go ahead and get this roadside firewood stand restocked and then we'll talk about what today's video is actually about, which is going to be more about this roadside firewood stand. So like I said, the roadside stand, we've sold nine $20 racks out of so far. We haven't sold a single bundle, but the good news is we haven't had any problems with theft. And I think those $20 rack sales are going to continue to go up as people get familiar with it being there. We only put it out just about two months ago and we haven't had ideal weather. We've had some burn bans. It's been relatively low humidity. It's been windy and dry. And then in the off days when we haven't had the burn bands, we've had rain. So it's been one extreme or the other. We haven't had that perfect camping weather yet. So I think as soon as that rolls in, firewood sales are gonna to start to pick up even more. But what today's video is about is we have the opportunity to build a second one of these. If you've been following our channel for the past few weeks, we met our neighbor Doug who lives a couple properties down and he lives on a much busier road than we do. He lives on a major highway and we live kind of on a back road. And he texted me the other day and said, hey, do you have any interest in putting a second stand up? And I said, what'd you have in mind? Absolutely. And he said, well, we've got some room down on our road frontage if you wanted to put a second one. And I, of course, said, the more the merrier. So that's what we're gonna be working on today is building a second roadside stand. And then hopefully in another month or two, I can give you guys a little analysis of the importance of location, busy road versus back road. So let's go get some supplies and get the second roadside stand built. All right, so we got our pallets there. We got our supplies in the back of the truck. I've already posted a video on how to build this firewood roadside stand. So if you wanna see that, I'll put a link up above. But we're just gonna go ahead and time-lapse this build and we're gonna to get to it. All right, so there we go. One roadside firewood stand completely finished. 
The only change that we made from this one and the first one we made is this one is 100% all $20 racks. So we've got eight $20 racks. The other one we had six $20 racks and then two $5 bundle racks. And like I said, the reason for that is because we haven't had any luck selling bundles. Everybody seems to like the $20 rack. So that's what we stuck with. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this loaded up in the dump trailer and take it over to Doug's and then we'll get it stocked up. I think right there should be good. Yeah, that's better.
All right, so now we have two roadside stands up, and if you couldn't tell from that time-lapse footage at Doug's place, he has significantly more road traffic than we do. I did a time-lapse at his place over the course of 20 minutes, and I did a time-lapse of over the course of 20 minutes at our place, and he had 157 cars pass by in 20 minutes. We had a whopping 13. So if you take that on a car per minute average, Doug's right around eight cars per minute, we're at about a half a car a minute. So I will be really curious to report back to you guys in another month or two and share what I've found on the importance of location with these roadside firewood stands. But anyway, I think that's gonna about wrap this one up. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.